Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we created workshop model in our course project and populated few dummy entries for workshop using seed file. In this lecture, we will create list and detail view pages for workshop. So first, we will start by creating a workshop controller and there we need to create two action index and show. Okay, so let's create create a new file inside app controllers and name it as workshops controller.rb so open your project in the sublime editor or any preferred text editor okay and now go to the app controllers directory and here you need to create a new controller and name this new file as workshops controller and save the file and now let's implement this file so here you need to write class workshops controller now in this controller you need to define two actions the first one is def index and in the index say as we know that we need to list all the workshops so what we do here at the red workshops sorry equal to workshop dot all and now we need to create another action and name it as show action so here you need to do def show and here you can find a workshop using some id which you will get through param so workshop equal to workshop dot find and then params id okay and save the file now okay now let's recall some points about the controllers that uh, first you should name your resource controller as plural here you can see that we created workshop controller as workshops controller okay and then define variable into action with at the rate symbol because we need to populate this variable on view template so we need to iterate all the workshops so we will use at the rate workshops here and we need to display workshop on the detail page so we will use at the rate workshop here okay now let's add routing for the workshop so open the routes.rb from the config.config folder okay and in this route.rb first remove all these comments and now sorry and now you need to define your workshop resource here so resources and then workshops okay. and here we will do only and then percentage i and here define what actions we have only so index and show okay here i am using the only option because we are not going to use all resource section we will use only list and detail pages of workshop so we need routes only for index and show action okay however later in this course we will add some custom routes for workshop so we will use member and collection routing for that purpose but for now let's focus on the index and show action only okay now it's time to create a directory with the name workshop inside the app views because if you want to create view templates for a controller then you must have a directory in the views with the same name as controller okay and in our case our controller name is workshop so we need to create a directory inside the app views with name workshops now we are all set to start working for index and show templates so let's start implementing the index template first okay you need to create a file with name index.html.trb in the app use workshop directory okay so create a file and name that file as sorry first save the routes file because it is not saved yet okay now create uh, save this file as index.html.erb okay here we will list all the workshops okay now do some bootstrap style first open the application layout okay in application layout you can see that we uh, already set up the container and row for our all view templates so we can start directly with column classes into the uh, index file of workshops okay so let's add div class call lg12 okay and into that first add a heading first in line break okay and here we can add a heading let's say s3 and you can add class mt4 mb4 okay. and here just write listing workshop we can uh, <laughs> just to fix this text uh, when we have some fruitful <laughs> messages here so we will fix that definitely but for now just keep it listing workshops 
and now we need to iterate through the workshops variable that we defined here inside the workshops controller okay because we are working at the index template now okay so let's define a row class div class row and in this row class what we need to do that we need to iterate through our workshops variable so at the rate workshop workshops dot now let's define the grid inside this loop okay because we will uh, display workshops like two in two workshops in a single row okay so uh, what we can do here that div class call lg6 okay, and in this call lg6 we need to define a card element okay because we uh, show our workshops inside the card so we can add card and shadow sorry and add a margin from bottom so we can add mb3 and mt2 okay so it will have some enough spaces and now close this div okay and now define the card body inside this card temp card container okay so div class card body and now in this card body first we gonna add a card title for our workshop name so you can define a h4 element and provide the class name is card title and provide the workshop name here okay now we need to display the card description and we will truncate it uh, up to 50 characters length okay so let's add a p element here paragraph element p class and make provide a class lead And let's truncate the variable so we can use the truncate method okay and provide workshop description as argument okay and we will truncate it up to 50 characters workshop dot description and then provide length up to 50 characters Now next we need to display the duration of the workshop like from which date to which date this workshop will last and what is the timing of every day for the workshop. So let's add those elements inside the H4 page. Here I am going to display this information inside the bootstrap pages. Okay, so uh, we will add the we will use the badge classes here. Okay, however if you don't want to use that in badges you can avoid this step. Okay, you can simply put the duration just like where I'm uh, just like what I'm doing here okay but I am doing using span classes and uh, span element and batch classes okay so add a span element provide a class let's say batch and bg primary primary batch okay and now just uh, close this span and in this span what we can do that from which date to which date okay so from workshop dot start date to workshop dot end date this will display the duration of workshop like when it starts and when it ends okay similarly you can do uh, that is to display the you can do the same thing to display the duration of every day inside the workshop like from what time to what time it's going on like for example from 10 a.m to 3 p.m okay so we can display it like uh, let's say every day every day from and then change this start date to start time and to end time and save this now okay now what we need to do that uh, we can we need a link to display the view details tab as uh, to view details button so whenever user click on that button it will be he will be redirected on the detail page of the workshop okay so let's uh, add a button class here a link to take and in that link to take we will provide a link for redirecting users on the view detail page of the workshop so link to 
add few details and then provide workshop and then provide a class class we can provide btn btn danger and then btn lg okay. and save this save the file and that's it now we need to go to the browser and visit the page at workshops index page so open the browser and in the browser let's type slash workshops after global 3000 so when you click uh, when you refresh on that you can see that workshop will be list like this so you can see workshop listing here and we can see the workshop inside the cards okay so our index space has been done okay now you can see that uh, this from 2000 uh, sorry, 2025 1 to 2025 8 and every day from okay this is looks good but uh, if you look at the view template it seems a fatty code like uh, imp uh, using the from text and start date end date into, into a single element it seems like fatty so we can refactor this code using instance methods by or by writing instance method into the model okay so let's refactor this okay and make the view very neat a view code very neat and clean okay so open the workshop model and first we will write uh, the method for uh, fetching total duration of the workshop okay so what we can do here so open the workshop model and let's define an instance variable here You can define def total duration and inside this total duration what you need to do that uh, from and then interpolate the string with from start date to end date okay and now save it and you can use this total duration and uh, you can remove this line okay so from remove this because we don't need that we can simply use workshop dot total duration okay now save it so you can see that it looks much better that having a method invocation here for workshop instance and we can still do the same thing okay so now refresh the page and you can see that nothing has been changed here from 2005 sorry 2020 may 5 from 1 to 8th may 2022 okay so we can do the same thing for this daily duration as well and we can also display that how much duration it will last for every day okay so for that we need to create few more instance methods inside the model so let's open the workshop model and here we will write def first uh, let's write daily duration or daily workshop hours now write code for it okay so here we need to convert the start time to start and end time to hours and then we need to find difference between them okay so first we will convert the start and end time to time object first and then we will get the hours difference between that okay so let's do that okay so here what we need to do that is start time okay. start time dot two time minus end time dot two time okay and then what we need to do that we need to divide it by one dot hours okay and then we will get the absolute value of it okay because sometimes uh, if your uh, uh, end time number is high like for example it is 10 pm and it is and the sorry start time is 10 pm and end time is minus 6 uh, 4 pm then it may result in minus hours okay 
like minus eight hours or minus six hours or minus seven hours okay so we are using abs method here that represents the absolute value of that okay and now you can provide hour here okay so we added hours here and now we can add a method for daily duration so def daily duration and now what we can do that every day then just provide the start time to end time and then we will display number of hours here okay so just invoke this method daily workshop hours okay copy this and invoke it here okay so you will get uh, uh, now daily duration like every day from 10 p.m. 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and total 5 hours okay so just save this file and invoke this daily duration method on the index page of workshop okay so what we need to do here index and here you can do workshop dot daily duration okay now save your file and refresh the browser okay so here you can see that every day 5 hours 5 hours 5 hours okay and 10 am to 3 pm okay so we are able to see similar output but with very clean view code okay here my purpose of refactoring view let me show you here okay so here my purpose of refactoring view by creating instance method is that you can write or at least think about writing clean and dry view chunks okay I used instance method into a model. If you wish, you can write uh, helper methods for this as well, for this purpose as well. Okay. It's all up to your choice. Okay. Now, since the index template has been completed, it's time to create template for workshop detail page or show action. Okay. So just like uh, index.html.trv, we need to create a file and name it as show.html.trv inside the app use workshops directory. Okay. So create a file with name show.html.trv and save it now we need to write chunks into it okay so we can use a class call lg at and then provide another call lg for class here now inside the column of eight eight column grid what we can do that we need to create a card element here and in this card we will display the details of the workshop okay so let's define a div div class so just define a card element and into that card element define card body and inside the card body first provide the card title and provide the title value as workshop name okay now we need to split the card into itself two columns okay where we will display the durations and then total seats remaining seats and registration fees okay so let's do that so we will we need to define a row element here div class row and then this provide this row class a margin top okay and now we need to split this row inside two columns okay so the first column will be call lg7 and second will be call lg5 and just provide the second element a second column as well view class call lg5 and just close this div as well okay now in this call lg7 first what we need to do that we need to provide workshop duration and workshop daily duration just like we defined inside this h uh, index template so just copy both of these uh, h4 elements sorry just copy these elements and what we need to do here that we can paste it here inside this call lg7 okay so paste it here correct the indentation and just make sure that you make this workshop as at the right workshop okay now save it okay and 
now in this call lg5 section what we need to display that we need to display the total seats remaining seats and the registration fee for the workshop okay so let's define an h4 element okay and inside this h4 element we will use the same format for displaying the total seats uh, remaining seats and registration fees using batch classes okay so let's say total fees sorry total seats okay and then define the span class and close this span and in this span class define the class like page and bg primary and just copy this span class because we need this everywhere okay so in this span class what you need to provide that just to write at the red workshop and then total seats so copy this for element and we will change everything for respective fields so after total seats what we need to display we need to display remaining seats okay, so here you can call remaining seats and then similarly you can do same thing for registration fees provide registration fee and the same value registration fee okay and save it now now it's all done so let's minimize this row and after this row what we need to do that we need to display the details of the workshop okay so we can use p class lead okay and then provide some margin from top and bottom so mp3 mb3 and in this paragraph what we need to provide that we need to provide the value of workshop description so at the red workshop dot description okay, and save it now and after this paragraph we need to provide a button for example if user visited a workshop detail page then he might want to go back to the list of the workshop okay so what we need to provide that uh, provide a link to take here Link to and then we can provide title like back to workspaces workshops okay, back to workshops and then provide the path workshops path and now what we need to do that add a class element here for uh, let's make it a button okay so we can provide btn btn outline danger and then btn lg and then provide some margin from top to it as well so mp3 okay now save it so you can see that your show template should look like this in first define two columns call lg4 and call, uh, call lg8 and uh, call lg4 and inside the call lg8 we will implement the details of the workshop okay so now save it and refresh the browser okay and try to visit any workshop let's open the details of the first workshop so when you click on view details you will see something like this okay so full stack ruby on rest development bootcamp and here is the description and here is the link for back to workshops okay and here you can see the batch class for displaying the duration and it's for total seats remaining seats and registration fees okay however this uh, view may look like uh, not so uh, what we can say not so fascinating so you can design a much better ui at your end as well if you are expert with that but uh, i'm not expert with the ui design so i'm just keeping it very basic uh, layout with the bootstrap grids okay you can correct it at your end as well okay so here you can see that we displayed the details of the workshop into the column of eight and we left the column of four blank okay why because uh, at this area in this blank area we will implement uh, the bootstrap card to display the booking form for this workshop okay and here the f form will come and through which through the through that form we will ask user to provide their input and card details so we can book uh, 
this workshop for them okay but we will do that in next coming lectures okay so here you can see that the card is just uh, below the or just attached to the navigation bar so we can provide a little margin to it as well let's say empty four from top and provide the same margin to this whole lg4 as well empty four and save it and now refresh the browser okay. so here we can see some enough gapping between navigation bar and the workshop detail card okay so that's it this is all from this lecture in the next lecture we will be designing the customer and booking model okay because uh, the customers are the user who will book this workshop and we need to map booking for every customer just like a customer can have many bookings okay so for this lecture that's all okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe however try this at your end as well okay so bye